let me show you my flea market finds uh i forget how much what how many pounds that is six it's either six or is it nine that's six and uh that was ten dollars i know it says 12 but i gave him 10. this is a pot a cast iron pot lid picker upperizer a dollar these are uh, when you're assembling oil field equipment and you need to line holes up this is what you do it with you know what those are going to be warhammer heads uh, I actually paid three bucks a piece for these that was too much I gave a dollar for that uh, three bucks for that three bucks for that I gave three bucks for this and my god that's heavy and I'm gonna this is gonna be a two-handed war hammer okay now visualize this I'm gonna cut these off on either side this will be the hammer head I'll cut this off and then grind it to a point and uh, I think I gave five bucks for all three of these give a dollar for that and uh, the next clip somebody asked me to do a video of my shop and describe it its size and all that and I'm gonna walk over there and do that now okay this is my main shop it's 24 by 24 and this wasn't here, you know, six years ago. Uh, first, I put a roof up, poured the concrete, and I put a roof over it. And that was to store my trailer, my boat, and my lawn equipment. And then I started working on stuff under there. And then I decided that I didn't want to work on small engines in here. Because uh, I welded and cut. And uh, that's where I do my woodworking, too, in that building. So I closed this in, and I have a video up of me closing this in and building these double doors. And uh, this is 16 by 24. Let me walk in here and I'll show you what it looks like. I just gave 50 bucks for that, it runs great. That, I uh, took it out to use it the other day and pulled a rope right off of it. I gotta take it apart and fix the rope. All right, here's what I got. These shelves I pulled out of a refrigerator. I did a video of that. And this is my, my bench out here. What I these are my I have a whole separate set of tools out here for working on small engines and stuff. Oh so yeah, I got my little bitty compressor out of here and I run a hose through the ceiling over there, all the way down here, uh, right here to my my big compressor over, over in the other shop. So this is the uh, Cup Cadet Antichrist. And there's my 300 gallon water tank. And I figured what better place to put a wood stove than in here with all my gas power equipment. I'm smart like that. I think it's genetic. And this is a uh, Old Faithful. And I've got over 500 hours on this and uh, it just keeps on mowing. There's my chicken feed. This is the chicken corner over here. And uh, I do keep a lot of equipment in here. But I really want to get most of this stuff out of here. So uh, I'll have more room to work on lawnmowers. Okay. Let me go around the back here. This is where I keep my firewood. And I had firewood all the way down here. I had uh, two full cords. And I'm down to uh, less than a little over half, a little over half a cord left, plus this stuff that won't fit in my stove that I got to get out here and cut in half and split it. And that's my used oil. That's where I keep my chicken poop, and that's what I clean it out with that shovel and that plastic bin there. That's what I go get my rescue chickens in, <laughs> or you know foster chickens all right let's go to my main shop 
That building is uh, 9 by 12. And uh, I do have a riding lawnmower in there right now that I bought for 50 bucks and and uh, drained the gas, drained the carb, put a new plug in it, cranked it right up. So uh, as soon as I get it cleaned up, I'm going to put that up for sale. I bought that utility cart for 10 bucks. I'm going to air the tires up and try to sell it with the lawnmower. And in that shed, I keep uh, my gas, my propane, my kerosene, my lamp oil, tarps, uh, and my wife's got a whole bunch of yarn and stuff that she just doesn't have room in the house for. This is the well that I dug by hand that still pumps water, although the leathers have dry rotted again, so I gotta replace the leathers again. I'm gonna try to get an electric pump on that this year and uh, uh, water my garden with that. All right, here's my main shop. This is 24 by 24. I come in, I'm gonna have to turn the lights on. But to the right is the bathroom and uh, my bathroom slash kitchen. I think you remember my, my excitement over my coffee pot. And uh, back out, this is, I keep all whole bunch of tools in here, I'll open it up. You got any stickers you wanna send me? Send them to me. I'll put you up either on my tool wall here, uh, on my tool wall or uh, my tool cabinet. All right. Yes, I have a glove fetish. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I got big hands, and when I find gloves that will fit my hands, I buy a lot of them. So uh, this is half of what I got. That's I'll open the other half in a minute. This is a roto hammer that I traded that lathe for. Okay, I'm turn it around. This is my electrical box. This is what, when I need to work on electrical stuff, this is where I keep that. Runs with knives sent me something. I haven't thanked him on video yet, but uh, he sent me a fluke meter, multimeter, multimeter. And uh, as soon as I use it in a video, I'll do an official thank you. There's my cutting torch. And you know, I don't own them tanks. I know it's stupid. For the amount of money I've paid to rent them, uh, I could have bought tanks, you know, a couple times over. I pay $500 every five years to rent them. I've had them, this would be 20 years coming up. Not the same ones. I mean, you know, when they get empty, I exchange them. Now there's my cooling tank. Might look like a Home Depot bucket, but it's a cooling tank. There's my grinder. That has been a good grinder. You know, I've had that thing about 20 years. Uh, the drill press, same thing. It's been a good drill press. Uh, the compressor, I've had that about 10 years. That works great. I do have an air conditioner in here, and sometimes in the hottest of hottest days, uh, I know I'm going to be out here for a while, I go ahead and turn it on and, and uh, circulate some cold air in here. And uh, just stuff. Those are uh, Makia's quarter inch drive uh, uh, impact drills. Freon grease, carb cleaner, more stuff. And down here, rags, lots of them. There's a little 110 stick welder down there that I never use because I'm so bad at, at stick welding. There's uh, some jacks, uh, that's where I keep them. And if I run out of my bazillion rags, I have a half a bazillion over here. And my wife is under strict rules not to throw any towels away. Uh, here's my DeWalt collection. 
I love my Dewalt tools. There's my batteries. And nothing really going on over here, but there's my AM, FM, shortwave, all kinds of stuff, radio. That's what I used to make rocket stoves out of. That's my, uh, what do they call that pot? It's from Silverfire. Dragon pot. Great pot. There is the uh, wood gas stove that I supercharged with a blower. There's my plasma cutter. <clears throat> There's my new, I got it yesterday, uh, 1 by 30 belt sander. There's my tool ball. There's my comfy chair, and if I'm not in it, that dog is. And if I am in it, he's usually laying down there. I know my hands are shaking. My heart's pounding like crazy. I've had a lot of coffee. Uh, this room right here what I, here's what I want to do I want to get rid of that monstrosity of a building I've rebuilt it like three times it just keeps rotting and what I want to do is get rid of it and put like a 12 by 24 building there and all the crap that's in this room here that takes up a fourth of my shop uh, I want out of here I want to take this room down and I'll have all that extra room there for work and uh, there's a mess in here I go through spurts where I organize it and uh, throw away crap and get more crap and organize it and I'm a saver if I find a good deal on something I'll buy a lot of it There's a silver fire stove there. There's the silver fire hunter, the old one. I have the new one, and I'm going to do a review. So, Todd, if you happen to see this, it's coming. I just got to wait for another nice day, and uh, I'm going to get at it. And the new one, well, I won't tell you anything about it right now. And there's my chainsaws. Uh, I don't use them very often anymore. Back when I bought this property, Christ, I cut probably 300 trees down here. But I do keep them up and make sure they're all sharp and ready to go in case the trees blow down somewhere else I can help out. And here's the, the nightmare. My weight has fluctuated so much over the years that I don't throw away my clothes because, you know, I got some really fat clothes up here and some clothes that I get back into every once in a while. <laughs> so, there you have it. There's my welder. There's my table saw. There's my miter saw. There's my router table. Oh, yeah, I need that. The other day I was looking for my milk crate. Now I know where it's at. Uh, when you want to carry a propane tank somewhere to get it filled up, put it in a milk crate and it won't roll around in your bed. Okay. That's, uh, that's my shop. I love my shop. It ain't big. Uh, but for some reason, it just gives me such a peace, joy, even, being out here tinkering, uh, especially in the spring and summer. I open that door, and the wind just blasts through here. You get a nice breeze through here. Okay, I hope that answered your question about my uh, my shop. Those are my spare handles because as you get older, the sledgehammer does not want to hit the back of the splitting mall. All right, Breezy, you ready to go in? Thanks for watching, y'all.